before we start, uh, one of my friends has started a channel for Minecraft videos, and I said give him a shout out, so go check him out. I've been hired by your father to be your sober companion. Excellent. Unless you don't think you have a stomach for the work I do. I'm good. Just in the safe room. What safe room? The one behind that wall. <laughs> Drug free, congratulations. Better. So, what are my first views of uh, CBS's Elementary, their uh, adaptation of a modern era Sherlock Holmes? Well, it's good, I guess, but essentially, its main failing is that it brings nothing new. Let me start with style. Its lighting and its cinematography are all standard US crime show stuff. I'm, I'm presuming I don't really watch US crime dramas merely because they're crap. As heck, and completely and completely wrong. Um, but from the clips I've seen, it just seems standard US crime drama stuff. There's nothing new or interesting about the style. The thing about BBC's Sherlock, and I'm going to be comparing with BBC Sherlock a lot, is that it brought BBC has, Sherlock has its own feel. You could watch 10 second footage of BBC Sherlock, and you know it is BBC Sherlock. It had its own camera angle, its own lighting, its own feel. And it even had those text overlays. It brought something new to the whole TV thing. It was interesting, um, you know. So, in terms of that, Elementary doesn't really bring anything new. It's like news of other shows that I may or may not have seen. And let's get into the plot. And that thing with BBC Sherlock is that while it was heavily, it was plot driven with very brilliant characterization, but it was plot driven. It 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 was the which is why the plot was you know, really good plot. It was a complex plot. It was a brilliant Sherlock plot. Um, and the characterization, the characterization being a brilliant and you know, really good, helped by the acting skills of Bennett Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman, were added bonus. But it was essentially a character-driven show. Now, Elementary, based on the pilot episode, because that's all that's been broadcast in the UK, and that's what I'm reviewing right now, is more character-driven, which is okay. Uh, you know, it's a different way. Um, but, you know, I'm just trying to put a difference here. But, the thing is, the characters, and we're going later, whilst in the plot, the plot was just there to move things along, but that's an excuse for a bad plot, and the plot wasn't that good. It wasn't complex, it was a fairly basic plot that I've actually forgotten already. It was that basic and not un uninteresting, it was basically murder, investigation, solution. That's practically all to it. And the final reveal of the rice and the phone being in the rice was forced and not that cleverly put in. Not the same that BBC Sherlock does it. It wasn't that clever. And it was just forced right at the end. Like, here's the last piece of jigsaw. It's there. Now onto the characters and the actors. Now, as for Sherlock Holmes, played by Johnny Lee Miller. I guess Johnny Lee Miller is free to watch. And I guess the... Not saving grace because it wasn't that bad an episode, but the best thing about it is by far his acting because while he's not been at Kumpach, he does bring a good portrayal of Sherlock Holmes, I guess. It's, 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 he brings it less icy, which isn't a bad thing because I always find that the book version of Sherlock is l more fun to hang about with than, you know, for example, Bennett Kumpach's portrayal or Robbie Downey Jr.'s portrayal or even Hugh Laurie's portrayal, if you take House to be an adaptation of Sherlock, which it loosely is, the character anyway. But, yeah, it was, it was more of a fun Sherlock Holmes, the same sort of fun Sherlock Holmes you see in the book. The Sherlock Holmes in the book tends to, be more, tends to be more jokey about, so I guess that's fine. And then we go to Joan Watson, which I, you know, bad, bad, bad. I don't, I still agree with my assessment that they should have kept the genders the same. Even CBS assure me but there's going to be no romantic involvement between Joan and Sherlock. I refuse to uh, accept the head going to keep it that because Americans are going to screw it up. No offense. Um, and you know, they even hinted it towards it with that whole do you believe love first sight thing. That just did not make me feel comfortable with it. You know, the limit should be 
for slash fix fans and that is the limit it shouldn't have to be involved and the other thing about this new Watson is that he doesn't even she rather she doesn't even seem to like Holmes that much the reason John Watson stays with Sherlock is that John likes Sherlock so he's interested he likes his new life Joan is more reluctant to get into it and that's not, that's not the whole relationship between them in the end she gets into it but that's reluctantly so reluctance is still there and that's put me off and this whole woman thing I, I really don't like it when they get into giving Sherlock Holmes a female romance sort of thing he, he hinted at the reason he came to New York was because of a woman that I just don't like I, mean, I was uncomfortable with the with Robert Downey Jr's portrayal with having Irene Adler as a love interest um, but it didn't really force it it wasn't the focus she couldn't have she might have you know, not been the love interest and it still would have worked so but I, I, I that's slide because it wasn't really that and I like the banter between uh, who was it Rachel McAdams and Robert Downey Jr so that's slide and I was a bit annoyed how in uh, what was the episode called now Oh, I've forgotten, but the, the, the first episode of series two of Sherlock, how it focused a lot on Irene and Sherlock and how we've got a sort of a thing going. But then at the end it said, Sherlock never sees a woman in the same way that we do. So it rectifies that and actually makes it more close to the books. So I'm fine with that. Now, even though we haven't actually seen what the cause is yet, I still don't feel comfortable with the fact. And also, Sherlock now apparently needs regular sex, even though he finds it repugnant. No, uh, Joan Blitz says that power is a lie, he's hiding, but apparently some of it isn't. And I just don't know. And I, Sherlock was always someone who you know, was just above that level of intimacy with females. Uh, I believe, uh, I'm not, not quite sure why people keep fixating on Irene. There's actually a character I can't remember the story now, but an earlier Sherlock, star, Sherlock Holmes story where he. he John Watson thinks he's actually becoming interested with, with his female clients, but then as soon as the the the, the um, investigation is over, he forgets it completely. And that wasn't actually a bigger story than the one I think anyway, that the one that uh, Aaron Adler was in. But whatever. But it, it seems to be focusing more on that, and I I still like that. But that's nitpicking, I guess. So my final remarks is that it's not that bad. But it's not really a Sherlock Holmes adaptation. I mean, Den of Geek puts it well when it says that there that it could have been any crime drama. It just happened to have the names of. In fact, okay, that's right. There were little references, unlike BBC Sherlock, there were little references to the story. None of the plots even linked to any of the stories. You know, there weren't any references to the link to the first adaptation. I'll give you an example. Fifty Sherlock first episode was a very loose adaptation of *The Study in Scarlet*. It followed it to a certain point and then took it off to its brilliant own version, which was brilliant. This didn't follow anything. It could be it could be any crime drama basically, apart from the names, apart from fact, apart from the characterization of Sherlock Holmes, apart from the trademark Sherlock scan. It it could be any crime drama, and there's literally no similarities. And John Watson, Joan Watson didn't seem like John Watson. That character was really remote to what John Watson is. It, I, I saw John Watson and I didn't see John Watson in there. I didn't see the same character. So it's good. It's not brilliant. The world could live without it, especially as we already have a modern adaptation of Sherlock, which is surpassingly better. So that's my first opinions. So I guess I'll see you next time I start to make a video. I don't know. Whatever.